All right. All my high-flying go-getters and wisdom seekers out there, buckle up and get ready for a journey through the heart and soul of Jim Collins's Good to Great, a book that's as timeless as the classic combo of a bagel with schmear. Now I'm going to serve up the top 10 insights from this business Bible, and I promise there's no jargon-heavy, snooze-inducing talk here. We're all about the straight-shooting, belly-laughing, eye-opening takeaways that'll kick your biz into the stratosphere. So without further ado, let's shake down this wisdom wonderland. One, first up, we've got Jim introducing us to what he dubs level five leadership. Imagine your favorite rock star, but with less leather pants and more strategic planning. These are the leaders who skyrocket companies to greatness while staying as humble as a newbie intern. They don't hog the limelight. Instead, they're the type to give the team credit while they're getting pelted with metaphorical tomatoes during tough times. So, if you're dreaming of being the big cheese, my friend, it's time to stock up on that humble pie first. Two. Second on our hit parade, it's all about the right folks on the bus. Think of your company as a party bus zooming towards Profit Town, and you're looking for the ultimate VIP list. You want people who aren't just there for the free drinks, but actually bought the tickets because they love where this ride is headed. Sure, you need a driver and someone in charge of tunes, but everyone's got to be on board with the destination. And hey, if they're not a fit, it's okay to pull over and let them off at the next stop. Compassionate style, of course. No shoving out the door while the bus is moving. And three, now let's chat about confronting the brutal facts, yet never losing faith. It's the third powerhouse principle. Here's the deal. Wearing rose-colored glasses only looks cool at a disco. In business, you're going to have to face the ugly truth like it's a Monday morning. But the trick is, while you're staring into the abyss of your challenges, don't let go of that relentless belief that you'll come out on top. Think of it as your business heart rate monitor. Things might look grim, but you're not flatlining on my watch. Four, numero quattro, Collins puts the spotlight on what he calls the hedgehog concept. Now, it's not about being spiky or rolling into a ball, though I know some meetings where that could have been helpful. It's about knowing one big thing and rocking it so hard that it becomes your claim to fame. Be like that local pizza joint that's got a line out the door because they focused on making the world's greatest pepperoni slice instead of adding sushi to the menu. Stick to your pie and the people will follow. Five, moving right along to point five, we're talking about a culture of discipline. It's not as catchy as culture of rock and roll, but man, does it make your profits sing. This is about operating with an iron fist in a velvet glove. You want a team that's got the self-restraint of a monk with a six pack of beer in front of him. It's not about micromanaging. It's about having a crew so dedicated to the cause that they own it harder than a toddler with a new toy. Make discipline your business's best friend and watch the magic happen. Six, insight number six is sprouting from the technology accelerators idea. This ain't about having the latest gizmos just to look cool. It's like buying a race car when you've only got a driver's permit. It's not the car, buddy. It's how you use it. Companies that go from good to great don't chase every new tech trend like it's a taco truck. They use technology as a booster rocket, not the whole spacecraft. Get this. It's the strategy that drives technology, not the other way around. Mind blown. Seven. Lucky number seven is what I call the momentum myth buster. We're dissecting the flywheel effect here, folks. No instant miracles or fairy dust. It's all about consistent hard work. Keep pushing that flywheel, and at first, you'll feel like it's a workout with no end. But then, magic. It starts spinning on its own momentum, and baby, you're rolling. This isn't the rabbit taking on the tortoise. This is you being the tortoise with a jetpack strapped to its back after months of sweat and tears. Eight, up next at the Insight Rodeo, number eight, we've got the doom loop. This is like the evil twin of the flywheel. It starts with inconsistent actions, a grab bag of strategies, and hoping for a Hail Mary pass that never comes. Each jerk of the wheel sends you spinning in circles like you're on a bad carnival ride. To escape the doom loop, my future titans of industry Stay true to your core and keep pushing that flywheel in a steadfast direction. Nine. Number nine, my savvy strategists, is the idea of clock building, not 
time telling. You see, time tellers are the one hit wonders of the business world. Sure, they can tell you it's party o'clock now, but what about when the party's over? Clock builders, on the other hand, they're about creating something that keeps ticking success long after they've left the building. It's the difference between being a flash in the pan and a legend that lasts. Build a company that doesn't just strike midnight once, but keeps ticking through the ages. 10, and drum roll please, for our grand finale, numero 10. We're talking about the Stockdale Paradox. Named after Admiral Jim Stockdale, this one's a heavy hitter. The paradox is about embracing the brutal reality of your situation while remaining steadfast in the conviction that you'll prevail. It's like being at the bottom of a mountain, looking up, knowing it's gonna be a nasty climb, but also knowing that no one's gonna plant your flag up there but you. Balance realism with unwavering hope and that summit's as good as yours. So there you have it, folks. The creme de la creme of good to great wisdom, ready for you to slather on your business toast. Remember, it's not about doing a 180 overnight. It's about those small, consistent steps, the discipline, the grind, the focus on your hedgehog. And above all, it's keeping a crew of dedicated, humble, level five rock stars along for the wild, wild ride. Now go out there, grab your bus keys, hit gas, and make that leap from merely good to downright great.